This is Pixel 6 running Android 12. Nah, totally messing with you. It does look like Pixel 6, but it's Mi 11X running Android 12 on Cherish OS. If you're interested to install this ROM on your phone, keep watching this video as well as this is going to be the detailed review of the same ROM. Without wasting any time, let's start the video. Starting off with the Android version, Android version is 12, Cherish version is 3.1, security update is of 5th of November and this month is currently November so we are good with the latest security patch here. Kernel is Immensity X and SC Linux status is enforcing. If you are interested to install this, as I said, I will be giving the instructions at the end but right now, let's review the ROM. Starting off with the blotwares, as I always tell, these are custom ROMs so you will not see any blotwares baked into it. And that's the main advantage of having a custom ROM from MIUI. So the MIUI has a lot of bloatware, all these pop-ups, notifications, advertisements. But here, if you are not using your phone, you can be sure that you will not get any notifications at all. Which is one of the best things in my opinion. One of the main reasons that I didn't really showcase this Android 12 before on my channel was because these builds were not really stable enough to recommend. But as of today, I can proudly say that this Cherish OS build that I'm using and I think almost all the ROMs which are on Android 12 are becoming stable enough to use as a daily driver. It's been more than two weeks and I'm almost using it every day. And this just feels really smooth. Like I didn't really encounter much bugs besides a couple or two that actually came from Android 11. But so far this experience has been great. All the applications that you open switch between them like it's just lag free. Closing animations, opening animations, the haptics as I already mentioned since Mi 11X has one of the best haptics so far on a Mi phone that I've ever used. There might be some better ones out there but this is just awesome. And also in here like all these keyboard options that you have, the way that these pop up works and then these accents and all, everything is just so crazy because this is Android 12. You even have all these widget options so I'm gonna show you here how it works. Go into widgets and if you scroll down, you will be able to see this clock and you can select all the Android 12 clock widgets that you already have without using any third party applications. Chrome also have some widgets and all these widgets are actually there. This is Android S Easter Egg. If you click on this and hold, you will be able to see all the color palettes which are right now relating to your big wallpaper. You can use these to make your home screen look even more better and smooth and this just look really sweet along with they being really productive. Now how customizable is this build of Cherish OS of Android 12 is? So if I go here you'll see this Cherish settings and in here you can find every single options for customization from status bar where you have a bunch of options if you really want to read all these you can slow down the video, pause, take a screenshot, see but you have basically every single option in here that you actually were using in Android 11. In quick settings, you have these options vibrate to touch, which I'm going to enable because I like it. Quick QS pull down right side. This is something that I also use. And then in themes, you can either depend upon the wallpaper color theming engine that is there with Android 12 or you can enable a custom color and then every single option or the splash of color the theming will be based on the custom color that you'll pick up. Then white luminance, chroma factor, linear brightness, all these options are there which you can actually select and play around with whatever you want. Then buttons, you have all these options as well. This is one of the most useful features in my eyes. Then animations, you don't really have much here but you can play around as you like. Lock screen options, you can really customize, dial it in into something that you really like. Now this is wake up on doors and then ambient display is also working in here but you don't really have the gesture based ambient turning on and off as of yet in Cherish OS this build. In notifications you have these various options like in call vibration options, battery light, yes. So this Mi 11X does not really have any notification LED but yet they have given this option. Doing this, changing this doesn't really matter anymore because you don't really have that feature inside the phone. So this might be something that's baked in from some other build, they just put it there and didn't remove it as of yet. Now in miscellaneous, if you can see right here, you see gaming mode mentioned. But when you tap, that is not really there. So probably it's gonna come in the future updates. As of now, it's not really there. Now as per the charging animation, there's something that I want you to see first rather than me telling it to you. Phones off, 
connecting the charger and watch out for the animation. This is Android 12's animation and really feels really sweet. And in the bottom of it as well, you can see all the information related to charging and this information keeps on changing depending upon these alphabets or like these numbers whenever they refresh this specific you can see it change there is an option of always on display while charging as well so that's also really sweet as you see and this unlocking animation is also really sweet as i already mentioned android 12 is one of these android updates that has brought a lot of changes right after android 7 i would say like android 7 8 9 10 so far has been minor tweaks but this android 12 has literally dialed that up to a maximum level now this tool is a cpu throttling test tool this will tell if your cpu will throttle or not and this really depends upon the cpu as well as you know like the chipset which is there in the phone and as you already know me 11x has a really great chipset but that was not the case when i was using my ui in MIUI, you could see frame drops as well as CPU throttling when you were doing something intensive. And this Cherish OS, as you can see, results in front of you, is really able to perform it well. And you can see that the graph is not showing below, like below what, 90, below 95, because CPU is able to handle all these tasks really well. And the max CPU clock is 2.74 GHz and if you don't really know much about this thing, you should remember that while playing games or like while doing heavy stuff, you will not see any lags in here. Android 12 has also baked in a lot more security features as compared to Android 11. And these security features are actually visually very much clear and can easily be seen by normal people too. So basically any application which is installed in your phone, in background is trying to access your camera, your microphone or your location, you'll be easily aware of it. Like for example, this camera application, it's accessing camera and you can see this green dot. If you slide this down, you'll be able to see this green icon over here. That means your camera is being used in the background. And probably if you click on this, you can see that being used by which application you click on this and it's gonna show the permission this application has and at what time this application accessed the camera, which is quite a feature. And if you actually start voice recording, which I'll get to in a second because this application also has a bug. But as you see right now, I close the camera application and the dot is gone because the camera is not being used anymore. But if I click on this, you can see that this is recording the voice. And in here you see this green dot. If you expand it, you'll see this microphone icon over here. I have to tap on this and it's going to say which application is being using my microphone, which I think is quite visually clear and makes things really amazing. Also, just a point here, this is a bug in this recording application. By default, it will be this Pixel 6 Pro. And once you do this, it will not be able to pick up any noise. And if you want really to use the inbuilt voice recorder to pick up sound, you have to click on this 6 Pro and then click on phone mic and then it is about as good as any phone recorder. If you click on transcript, you will also see that this is actually in real time converting whatever I'm speaking into a text, which is really handy feature when you're in a meeting and you need to take notes. You can just enable this, obviously take permissions from them first and let them speak and you don't even have to write any single thing. It's just gonna do all the amazing work and write everything in the notes. In here, you have this language option as well, which you can select and change in order for you to be able to write this even more accurately. Now, for all those people who want to root their phone and are afraid of rooting it on Android 12, Cherish OS built of Android 12 is really easy to root. And in here, you can see my Magisk already installed. And if I zoom in here or like bring my phone near my lens, you can see installed version is 23.0. AB partition is there, SAR and RAM disk is already yes. And in here, if I click on check safety net, you can see it is already passing it. So all your banking application, gaming application and everything will run on this OS. Now, if you want to install this ROM on your phone and your phone has AB partitions like Mi 11X has, I'll leave the instruction in the description section below. And if you really want me to make a dedicated video about it, also make sure you let me know in the comment section below. But if you have a normal phone, you can always click on this iCard where I leave the link of a video which I've made of how to install custom ROM, which also includes how to flash a custom recovery. And then I leave the link of this Cherish OS link of the bills 
in the description as well you can go ahead and check if your phone is qualified for android 12 build if you enjoyed this video make sure you smash that like button if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe because if you're not subscribing you won't know which videos i'm gonna be publishing later make sure you also turn on the notification bell but even if you don't i don't really care about that thing as long as you are a part of my channel if you have any doubts any questions let me know in the comment section below and i'll be catching you guys next week with another video until then take care